Hello and uh, welcome back to what I'm calling my journey as a dyslexic. Uh, my name is Alden Albino. Uh, the series I have started is on how I'm learning to speak, read, and write French as a dyslexic uh, and uh, what I'm going through. Today's video in my series is on my school and in particular my teachers. Uh, though I will never tell you the, what m the name of my school is or the location, nor will I tell you the names of my teachers because it's very private. But I, I just wanted you to know how important it is as a dyslexic to, or anyone, to go to a school that embraces learning and the teachers are so involved in trying to help you learn. Um, and that's it's, it's an amazing feeling, especially for me. Um, I grew up in an era where this wasn't understood how dyslexics would struggle with school. And unfortunately, back then, you were either put in special ed classes or you were treated as a dummy or lazy. Uh, some stats about how a lot of dyslexics end up in jail out of pure frustration, I think is all due to the lack of proper understanding and especially when it came to the teachers and this is where I have to say I am so lucky for the school that I'm going to and so grateful for the teachers I have um, my main teacher uh, we'll just call her T I can see the concern on her face when I'm struggling with something uh, and I feel bad for her some days because I'm sure I'm keeping her up at night trying to figure out how to get through to me and how to help me learn French. T is absolutely amazing and she goes out of her way to make sure I don't feel embarrassed or ashamed um, about struggling and I can say that is a, one, a 180 in comparison to the way I was treated when I went to school. I know I have my own personal issues to deal with when it comes to that. I remember stepping in there and being afraid of schools, terrified of schools. And I can remember very early on, my dad bringing me to a school. He was able to, he stopped at uh, a stop sign and I literally jumped out of the car and was running away. And I'm talking, I might have been four or five. It frightened me so much to go to school. The way people were treated, whose handwriting was bad, whose seem to not pay attention just terrified me so you can imagine that sort of emotion and that sort of anxiety weighs down on me i can tell you the school that i go to and the teachers i deal with are beyond ah oh, they make me feel good about learning and trying to learn and they understand uh, uh, another one of my teachers uh, i guess part of this i want you to understand is there's ways to see how your teachers are helping you in, in little subtle things. I have extra help from a, a teacher I'm just going to call M. And M amuses me. Uh, she makes me laugh and makes me want to speak French. Uh, uh, little things she does tells me how important it is to her that I learn. Um, and it's very important that I'm relaxed. And I am relaxed, especially with T, but especially with M. Uh, because of the thing called uh, uh, amygdala hijacked. Hope I, I pronounced that properly. And that's when your brain is so panicked and so terrified that you you shut down from thinking. Uh, I can only equate it to if you've never swam before and you're trying to tread, you jumped into the pool and you're afraid. That's how I felt for the longest time until T and especially M started teaching me. I relaxed and more was going in my brain. And I know that M especially is trying her best to figure out how my brain works. I've seen some signs, and one is, ooh, I was looking at this guy on video on the video about dyslexia, and did you check this out? And it's telling me that she's taking the time, the effort, to find ways to help me as a dyslexic learn to speak French. Uh, big cheerleader in my corner to push me forward. It's ah. Uh, I wish I could tell her what I'm thinking and how I think, but I have to be this cold, cold machine and just say, yes, ma'am, no, ma'am, and move forward. And it's, but she's amazing. Um, uh, things I also know, tricks I've learned, 
I'm not supposed to tell you, so I'll keep this really quiet. So if you're ever running to this person, you won't know who she is anyhow, but I'll tell you how I know she's really, how certain things she does motivates me to move forward. So, one of the first things when we work on something and she knows I know it, she'll do this three times, which meant I know you kind of know it. This is her first level of I got you, you, you got this here. If something she knows I know and I'm just having a hard day, she'll let me breathe, but she may go, I know, you know this. <laughs> like, I start laughing, I relax, and poof, it comes out of my head. Um, she has this one eyebrow thing. So what I guess I'm getting at is when your teacher is teaching you, look at their signs and, and relax, and it helps you relax. Another one she does, it's funny, if what I'm saying is gibberish, her eyebrows will squint down, she's like, okay, I'm hearing him, but it's gibberish. So I'm like, okay, that's not making sense to her. I've got to twist it around another way. And it gets my mind moving around in different directions. Uh, if her eyebrows come in, well, that's a whole nether issue, which I'm not going to get into with that one, but it's funny. Um, it's, it's amazing to see these. Uh, I guess I'm telling you these tricks because there you can tell that this particular teacher, M, is trying to figure out how to figure me out to teach me to move forward. And again, I cannot thank her, my school, my other teacher, T, for helping me learn and feel comfortable in learning. And part of learning, of course, is failing. And they're in my corner when I fail. And they're definitely in my corner when I succeed. And they see the lights come on. Oh, that's, that reminds me of a story. What's she do? I was having difficult with a particular word, uh, pendant and terrain, and we had talked about it, and she was like, I know we talked about this, and all of a sudden the connection came on, and she said, you know what, I've seen you. you we'll talk about something, and you kind of understand the concept, and about a couple of days later, you go, boop, <laughs> it just connects. So any time I say that, it connects, it makes it laugh. Uh, you know, I think it's important that when you get that opportunity to have great teachers like mine to be open with them about how you're feeling and the frustration. But I guess I want to say the big difference for me for learning is knowing that I have a great school, but most importantly, I have great teachers. Um, so thank you, M. Thank you, T, for helping me move forward and try to learn French in a very relaxed, respectful manner. Um, yes, thank you very much. That's all I can say for this one series on my school and my absolutely amazing teachers. Thank you very much and I uh, hope you keep watching and please leave your comments on uh, how things are going. Take care. Bye-bye.